The next question would be, so were there any arrests that day? The church or have the members been fined yet? Have you heard anything from the administrative authorities that they are going to be fined or have they get, gotten any decisions of them being fined for breaching the law or breaching the, the rules that day? That is a, a good question you are asking now. Hi everyone, welcome to The Phoebe Way. If this is your first time on this channel, The Phoebe Way is all about life in Germany, social and legal topics about living in Germany, and also traveling to Germany, settling within Germany, traveling from Germany to other countries. In fact, this channel is the place for you to be if you want to move to Germany as well. Today's topic you've probably seen from the title. I've got a few calls and inquiries about this particular TV show that talked about Ghanaians being deported for going to church and actually because they had broken corona rules. And today's video is going to investigate whether this is true or not, okay? The first time I was given the link to the video, I watched it and two things stuck out to me. The first thing was one of the first statements of the host that was... Meaning a lot had been deported. The second thing too was that the impression was given that because of corona, church services weren't supposed to be held. So the first one, I didn't know much. I had to ask about that. And then secondly, when they said church service weren't supposed to be held during Corona days. Now, even during Christmas, when we were on lockdown, churches were allowed to operate, but then with specific, on, but only on specific conditions, like um, making sure that people kept the distance to each other by making sure that church visitors were wearing their masks also another thing that i knew of was that you had to fill in you had to keep a list of all attendees so if you go to church you have to enter your name and your phone number or your address so that in case of contact tracing they're able to trace you and let you know that somebody at church that day had been infected so you should also go get tested right and the other thing too was that there was supposed to be there wasn't supposed to be any singing so i knew that church services were going on but why they said no church services, I didn't know. I don't know. I don't know. Another thing too that struck out to me was that the video that was in, in that was displayed during the show, actually the people in that video were speaking French. In, and you know, in Germany, we speak German. So that was also another thing that stuck out to me. So after I watched that video, I just Googled. I just Googled. Ghanaian Kirche aufgelöst oder Ghanaian Kirche Verhaftungen wegen Corona. Ghanaian Church arrest Corona, right? These are the parameters I entered. So I got two articles that talked about it and it actually had ha something had happened in Essen involving a Ghanaian Church and Corona rules. So let's get into these articles. Let me get my phone. So let's get into these articles. The first article, I'm going to link the articles, um, I'm going to put the article links in the description box down below. So if you do speak German and you can read German, please do check the links out so you know that I'm not going to give you any untruths. The first link opens, um, the first link is Polizei Luis Gottesdienst mit sechsten Axis Gläubigen auf. And then the red, um, this is Bild. Bild Zeitung. So, the first thing you see was Anzeigenflut und eine Festnahme. It says, a flood of complaints and an arrest. There's the red line. A flood of complaints and an arrest. Polizei löst Gottesdienst mit 86 Gläubigen auf. Police disperses a church service with 86 believers. So I'll just say church members, right? So the short description says, in einem privaten Kirchengebäude der ursprünglich Ghanaian Gemeinde, the Church of Pentecost, feierten die Angehörigen die Sonntagsmesse. The members of the Church of Pentecost were having their church service in, a, in their private church building. So that happened in Essen. Die Polizei musste am Sonntag in Essen Krei einen Gottesdienst wegen Corona-Verstößen beenden. 
The police had to end a church service because of breaking of corona rules. And it was on Sunday. Gegen 13.50 Uhr am Sonntag lösten Beamte einen Gottesdienst der Church of Pentecost, einer freikirchlichen Pfingstgemeinde mit Ursprung in Ghana, auf. So around 1.50 p.m. on Sunday, officers had to end or disperse the church service of the Church of Pentecost, a non-denominational um, Pentecost church from Ghana. Zuvor hatten sich Anwohner über lautstarken Gemeindegesang beschwert und berichtet, dass sich mehrere Personen in dem kleinen Gebäude aufhalten würden. Before that, residents had complained about loud singing of the congregation and reported that many people were in the small building. Die Beamten fanden in den Räumlichkeiten auf der Straße Schwemmhilfe 56 Erwachsene und 30 Kinder vor, die dort eine Messe begingen. Es wurde kein Mindestabstand eingehalten und nur wenige trugen eine Maske. Eine Anwesenheitsliste zur Rückverfolgbarkeit war ebenfalls nicht ausgelegt. So the officers found in the building on the, on the street called Schwemmhilfe 56 adults and 30 children that were having a church service there. They weren't observing this, the distance, the minimum, the, they weren't observing the, minim, the minimum distance, and only a few were wearing a mask. And also, no attendees list to trace, to enable tracing was there. Es wurden die Personalien der Personen festgestellt, da bei zwei Männern der Aufenthaltsstatus ungeklärt und der Verdacht der illegalen Einreise besteht, wurden sie festgenommen. So, the identities of the people were taken and because with two men it wasn't it wasn't clear which kind of permits they had which kind of staying permits they had and the suspicion of illegal entry into the country existed they were arrested zunächst sprach die polizei auch von einem offenen strafverfahren gegen einen der männer initially the police spoke of an open criminal case against one of the men. So one of the men had a criminal case going. And that is the end of their Zeitungsbericht. The other article is by WDL, WDR. And the title of that one is less dramatic. It says, Gottes things mit 86 Teilnehmern in Essen ausgelöst. So church service with 86 participants has been dispersed. And the article goes, Die Essener Polizei hat Sonntagnachmittag einen Gottesdienst aufgelöst, weil dort keine Corona-Regeln eingehalten wurden. The Essen Police had to disperse a church service on Sunday because none of the Corona rules were observed or were being observed. Anwohner hatten die Polizei über die Veranstaltung im Stadtteil 3 informiert. So residents had informed the police about the activity in, in Krai. Daraufhin kontrollierte eine Hundertschaft die freikirchliche Pfingstgemeinde. Based on that, a hundred policemen controlled the non-denominational Church of Pentecost. Gesang ohne Masken und Abstand. Singen without masks and distance. 56 Erwachsene und 30 Kinder fanden die Einsatzkräfte vor. 56 adults and 30 children were found by the police. Laut Polizei sangen die Teilnehmer, trugen teilweise keine Masken und hielten keine Abstände ein. Die Verstöße gegen die Corona-Schutzverordnung wurden angezeigt. So, according to the police, the, according to the police, the congregants were singing and some of them were not wearing masks and they were not keeping the distance. These breaches of the Corona rules have been reported. Polizei nimmt zwei Teilnehmer fest. The police arrest two congregants. Außerdem nahmen die Beamten vor Ort zwei Personen vorläufig mit. The police provisionally arrested two people. Gegen sie laufen nach Ange Angaben der Polizei offene Strafverfahren. Sie seien möglicherweise illegal in Deutschland, heißt es. These people have open case, open criminal cases, according to the police. They are, it's possible that it's possible that they are in Germany illegally. So these are the articles, guys, and let me just break down why I felt 
what, what made me, you know, a bit surprised because before you will be deported, you, you must have had an asylum um, application that had been denied and then you'll be asked to leave the country. But even before that would happen, it takes months, sometimes even years because the authorities are overburdened. As I, I talked about the German bureaucracy, right? So the authorities are overburdened. The courts are also, are also busy, basically. So sometimes cases of 2018 are discussed in courts 2020. Sometimes from 2017 and the discussing for 2020. And even though now the workload is less, it will still take some time before this um, these cases will be brought before court. So uh, that was what made me surprised. And also, now that we know that it's a strafverfahren that is that is open, it's a criminal um, procedure that is going on. It still doesn't mean that they are going to be deported. So that sentence of Yadipoti Bebreno, that has come to be false because it only talked about two, two people. And we don't even know whether they have been deported or not. As I said, it takes time. And this incident took place on the 20th of December, 2020. It's barely been a month. It's barely been a month. So it doesn't go that fast, okay? It does not go that fast. And I was fortunate enough to be able to reach the pastor, the reverend um, of that of, of that um, branch of the Church of Pentecost. So guys, hold on and let me call him so we can start to have our interview with him. Yeah, it's so uh, very hectic, very busy. Oh, okay. But, uh, uh, I'm now free from some time now. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so, so much for joining me. I have started recording now. So, um, kindly state your name and your role in the Church of Essen Cry. Okay. Uh, thanks for having me tonight. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, uh, I'm Reverend Shobon Watson, uh, District Pastor of the Church of Pentecost, Dortmund District. Okay. Of which, uh, uh, Essen fall under the district. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, on that fateful day of the 20th of December, 2020, were you also at church? No, I wasn't. Uh, I was worshipping with uh, the door of my central church. So it happens in my absence. Okay. But uh, I've got uh, the information from my elders who were there. Okay. So, according to their reports, what transpired that day? Oh, according to the report given me, was that um, we are having an issue with one of the neighbors who always call police for us. This has been there before the COVID. Uh, situation i mean it has been there before 2020 year 2020 mm -hmm. and so prior to this uh, uh disturbances it compared us to uh take a lawyer okay and the neighbor also has a lawyer and uh, we are having this issue at court long 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 time ago so and he has emphatically tell the church that he will make sure that we quit from the place, go back to where we came from. And uh, that, for that reason, anytime there is church service, he used to call the police. And it will surprise you to know that his window is just opposite to our, our what, our, our church. Okay. And so on Sunday, he intentionally opened the window wide mm -hmm. so that every noise that will come out. <laughs> <laughs> Go straight into his room. Straight into his room. So okay. uh, on that faithful uh, Sunday, our church service, the first one begins at uh, 10 o'clock. Mm 
So, and this one involves our youth, the PIWC. Okay. Yeah, so as the church service was in progress, he called the police. That mm -hmm. was, so, the police came, there were two gentlemen. And just as they arrived at the entrance, one of the deacons of the central church was then coming. So he met the police mm -hmm. and together they entered the uh, church house. Okay. So this police man, the first question was, the information that brought them there says, we are not a church, but we are a club. Mm -hmm. And the next one is, we are more than hooligan. Uh, we are disturbing the neighborhood. Okay. We are having problem with the neighbors. And some mm -hmm. of the youth go around knocking the neighbors' doors, uh, putting fear into the neighborhood. Okay. And these are all allegations. Okay. So, when these policemen arrived, the first question was about the information reaching our office is you are not a church, but you are a club. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the deacon told them, no, it's a church. Look at the signboard in front of uh, the house, mm -hmm. which states that we banned the church of Penn because if our Germany mm -hmm. is a church. Then he asked them, no. If it is a church, uh, where is your permit? So and uh, later we got to know that even though the, the head of state has not closed churches, mm -hmm. but it is uh, advisable for every church to uh, go to the Ordnusant and ask for special permit. Okay. I mean, that's, that says that uh, you have put in place all the measures that the state are expecting every office to follow. Mm -hmm. uh, so, after interrogation, he came to the church and stood behind and then what was wonderful was going on. Mm -hmm. And then later, he said, uh, Alice is not known. Everything is okay. We are going. Mm -hmm. And they left. And by this, the neighbor, the neighbor's expectation then come true. Through. Yes. He was expecting an action by the police. Yeah. So he then called again. And this time he called the reinforcement uh, side. Those with blood uh, as if they are going to attack criminals and others. The Special Einsatz Commando, the SA car. That's, that's right. Okay. If, if it is Ghana, we say military police. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm So they came in numbers mm -hmm. by this uh, uh, this bus, uh, Sprinter bus, five okay. of them and some private cars. Okay. So as soon as they arrived, it was the turn of the eldest. Mm -hmm. You know, the youth have already closed and gone. Okay. So the elderly were in service at that time. And at, at the time they arrived, the message has come to an end and they were about to pray. Mm -hmm. And which means at that time the room was calm. Whenever a message is coming, uh, you, you, you normally don't hear noise. Yeah. Neither do you hear uh, music or anything. Uh huh. So. Uh, they just entered about 10 of them. Mm -hmm. And we, the, 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 the main house has a ground floor and then first floor. Mm -hmm. So the ground floor has two separate rooms for our children. That is the Sunday school people. Okay. And the information says there were 30 children. Yes. Okay, these 30 children were 15 in. 15 here, 15 there. Okay. But as soon as they saw this man with their blood and then with their uh, guns, and then they all out of fear 
rushed up to the first floor where the parents are. Uh huh. And at that time, the parents numbered uh, 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 56. Mm -hmm. So the children of 30 joined their parents in fear. And as these guys were coming, the police were coming, camera man was following with the camera on. Okay, so they, the police themselves videoed the whole operation? Yes. Okay. Yes. Because they prepared for coming. Not knowing the man uh, told them we numbered about 200. Mm -hmm. And that is why they also came in numbers. Okay. Uh -huh. So, as soon as they got there, they started inspecting uh, the passport mm -hmm. of the members. Mm -hmm. So, in fact, as soon as they got there, the what the, the the church ended. The service and, ended. Yeah, they ended the church. Mm -hmm. So they started inspecting the passport, and then at last they found two gentlemen who were not having this same visa. Mm -hmm. uh, and they took them uh, along. Okay. So it's not a matter of they have taken uh, 50 people and 20 people are being deported. This is false information. <laughs> There is no truth in it. Okay. okay. Reverend Boatin, I have a few more questions um, to um, dispel these rumors. Um, the next question would be, so were there any arrests that day? The only two guys who were not having uh, uh, the state permit, mm -hmm. they were arrested. Okay. They, were, they took them away. But as for the church, there wasn't any arrest. Okay, so according to the newspaper article, those arrests were provisional arrests for Loifiger First Namen. Um, do you know whether these men have been released yet? And if yes, do you know how they are doing? And if no, do you know what's what's going on in their lives right now? Okay, yes, I know. What I know is that uh, one of them was a former uh asylum seeker mm -hmm. whose whose uh, period has expired okay and they were looking for him mm -hmm. and so that was the day they got him okay uh, and the other one was new in germany who hasn't seek any uh political what asylum okay. so the next day they allowed this guy to go and register uh, to register himself mm -hmm. but the other one they took him to different place okay and all say uh, there is a lawyer who managed to know and uh, managed to locate him okay so we know where he is now and right. it is in the hands of the lawyer all right and now so nobody has been deported as I'm talking to you now. This is great news, thank God. Now, according to the VDL article, it says that some of the church members during service were not wearing masks, the social distance um, rules were not observed, and also there was singing. How true is that? Uh, when they arrived there, there was no music, as mm -hmm. a matter of fact. Okay. Number one. Number two, uh, if they are telling us that there was no social distance, as I said already, uh, the adults membership at the hall where was uh, 56. Mm -hmm. And the room is large enough to contain 56 people. Okay. Because even at the church hall, there is another upper deck Mm -hmm. upper, upper room okay. where people sit there and can see whatever is going on in the church Okay. so the church is uh, big enough to contain about about 200 people if even by the distance and so if they come and see the people 85 together 
it is the fear of them to the children that compel the children to run to the church home. Okay. I don't know if they are uh, they are aggressive or they are threats. Mm-hmm. Uh, they might have, I mean, see only about fifty six people in the room, and mm-hmm. fifty six and the distance. Uh, we wouldn't have any problem about that. Okay. Oh, this is also good to know. Um, Reverend Frippon Blatten, my last question is, um, in one of the articles, it stated that the um, breach of the coronavirus um, regulations has been reported as administrative offences, as um, have the has, has the church or have the members been fined yet? Have you heard anything from the administrative authorities that they are going to be fined or have they get, gotten any decisions of them being fined for breaching the law or breaching the, the rules that day? That is a, a good question you are asking now. Thank you. Uh, we haven't, we haven't, none of them have been fined. And okay. we haven't received any letter from the state. Mm-hmm. And uh, to my surprise, as I was telling you, there is one guy called Kweku Apia from uh, from Stuttgart. Mm-hmm. And uh, she's mm-hmm. Stuttgart Jiju, Kweku, Mr. Kweku Apia, Stuttgart Jiju. Ghana Union yeah. Stuttgart or? That's right. Okay, That's Karlsruhe. Right. My mom is just telling me it's Karlsruhe. Okay, then, no, Kweku, he said Ghanaian community, Germany, Kweku Apia. Yeah. Okay. Ghanaian community, Germany. Uh-huh. So, I don't, probably know where he, yeah, I don't know where he got his information from. Mm-hmm. Uh, he wrote and then spread this news to the air that uh, there are, are rumors that Eastern Pentecost Church members are to pay 500 euros each, including children. Okay. Uh, going against COVID-19 rules. And then he continued by saying, second paragraph, if you were there with your family and two children, you have to cough 2,000 euros at this time. Now, mm-hmm. third paragraph, we hope community members will take it a lesson and stay at home on Sundays. Mm-hmm. And then the last paragraph, Streaming church service should be enough to save you from 500 euros or more debt at this particular time. You know, this is information that we also are surprised to hear because this guy hasn't called contact anybody in our church. So we don't know where he got this information from. Mm -hmm. Uh, I have his number here. And as you are Good Samaritan want to put things at the right place. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think you can get in touch with him and he can feed you where he got his information from. All right, okay. Reverend. Um, please send it to me after and also the letter if you have so that we will have the uh, conversation with him as well. Right, right. And the, 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 the seriousness of this letter is that, you know, you can be a helper to the society. And you can he be uh, uh, a, 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 a helper to destroy something good mm-hmm. in the sense that if you conclude your information by saying uh, we hope community members will take it a lesson and stay at home on Sundays, are you an agent of the devil or you are a gentle of what? Prosperity? Now, you want people to stay home. What will you gain if people choose to stay home at this time? Mm-hmm. Uh, the wise lady, who is our oh, our mother, uh, Madam Angela Mark here, mm-hmm. says, in this period of time, there is no comfort anywhere, not even at home. But it is only through the church that one can go and release some of the stress that are overburdened people. 
and you are also out there telling people to stay home. Where are you coming from? You see? And this is where we can find from the book of Acts, chapter 12, verse 1 to 19, the persecution of the church in those days. Mm-hmm. You know, COVID-19 has become a, a, a general disease for the whole world. But in course of this, there are elements of event going on behind this COVID. And this is what we all have to stand and pray that the mighty hand of God will prevail so that the evil plans of the enemy will be towards. Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, in those days, it was a persecution to the church, but the disciples didn't see it that way. Mm-hmm. I believe they were thinking, oh, James, maybe he's too proud, James. Maybe he doesn't respect James. Maybe the evangelism he's making uh, is just putting up insults. So it is the, the fault of James. He didn't do anything. And to their surprise, he was beheaded. Mm-hmm. Now, after it satisfied the people, now they came to Peter. It is there before they realized, hey, brethren, if we sit there aloof, who will be the next after Peter? No, let us go on our knees and pray. Mm-hmm. And they went on their knees, they prayed, and miraculously, God delivered him from this jail. So in our days now, people don't see this as one of those uh, means of persecution the church is facing. Mm-hmm. But everybody opened his mouth and said, the Church of Pentecost, the Church of Pentecost, Essen, 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 Essen. But who knows what is behind? So it is better for everybody to shut his mouth so that what the Lord wants to do, he will do it. Than to pass, comment anyhow, at the end, he you will be offended because it is not the pastor, it is not the elders, it is the church of God. So whatever you do, whether knowing or unknowingly, and if it is an offense, you are doing against the body of Christ, Jesus mm-hmm. himself. Yeah. So we must be extra careful. It's not just those people who just stand in front of the earth what their 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 telephone their telephone cell phone and then talk blah 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 and then speculate it it is their own body it is nobody's business mm-hmm. but if you talk about the church one must be extra careful because nobody knows the end results yeah. so so far this is all what i can uh, tell you at this time Thank you so, so much for your time and also for explaining and giving us the, 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 the church's view on what happened that day and also the truth from your point of view. Um, have you watched the TV show on RTV's YouTube channel? Oh, yeah, no regular. No okay. Because that is actually the, the main thing that started this um this room was from on my end this is what actually made me know about what was going on my my family members saw it they got worried they called is it true you can't go to church in germany is it true Ghanaians are being deported and this is what got me to research and to actually reach out to the church of pentecost to clarify these rumors or what i have heard so thank you so so much and i'll i'll let you also see the video i'll forward the, that particular video to you also on whatsapp in a few minutes so you know but i want to thank you so much for spending time with me throughout the day i've been contacting you here and there you've always had the listening here for me and ready to help me with with bringing the truth out so thank you so so much may god richly bless you okay 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 so as i promise you um i have two gentlemen one is called nana prempe from sabroken Mm -hmm. he also carried his own information 
and then uh, spreading it anyhow. And this particular one also, Nana, Goku, what? Goku up here. Uh -huh. It's also on the other side, also spreading uh, what? False information as well. So as you are trying to uh, put things right, I'll forward your numbers to you and you can get contact with them so that they can yes, also sir. help you where they got the information from. And are they helping the Kenyan community or they are putting fear into the hearts and minds of our, especially our family back home? Yes, that's the main the concern. They can help, I mean, the stability of, you know, there is a whole lot of stress in this land. So if you are putting more injury to soul, then uh, you are not helping the community rather. Yeah. Thank you so much, Reverend. I'll definitely get into that and look into that for you as well. Okay, okay. okay. Thank, you. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you too for joining um, us. God bless you. Amen. God bless you too. All right. Bye. 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 So guys, that was Reverend from Pomboating, District Pastor of the Church of Pentecost in Dortmund, under which also Essen Cry Falls, the church, the congregation of Essen Cry Falls. At this point, I want to thank um, the National Secretary of the Church of Pentecost in Germany, Reverend Boache, and also the pastor of the Stuttgart district being um, Apostle Atto Madawasipi. Thank you. The summary of this in Chi is that, or in Fante, is that one, when do Porto Ubiara, number one, when do Porto Ubiara, two, Wombo Ubiara Co. up till today, in the year the 20, day 21st of January of 2021, no fines have been issued to anyone, no fines. Ubiara, one more Ubiara, 500 euros, Ubiara, the Untia, according to Reverend Frimpon Boateng, who is the district pastor of that area. And also, you know, watching Ibinum, and so that one of the brothers who was arrested has been taken to register and um, start with his um, application for asylum. And the other one has been taken to a different place and his case is, um, is being dealt with by his lawyer. So this is the summary. No deportation, no fines yet, and that is the glory of God. As the story progresses, if there's more for you to know, I'll definitely come back and tell you guys. And thank you so much for spending time with me and see you same time next Sunday. Cheers, mark's good. And hey, it's Corona time. Mask up, mask and off, had it upstand and stay home if you don't have anywhere important to go. Take good care of yourselves. Pass good of Ananda off. Stay hopeful and live to first English. Be soon next in my cheers. Have you subscribed? Subscribe. Eh? <laughs>